Welcome back, everybody. I hope you had a great lunch. Uh, next, it's my pleasure to introduce Torsen, um, who's going to be talking about um, an interesting twist, uh, the cart before the horse or the horse before the cart. It's uh, about games imitating life. So rather than having games that are just sort of games, um, why not sort of have games that actually teach us things about what we're actually going to be doing in real life? So um, Daimler, I, I believe, is the, uh, the, the producer of this sort of game. And um, what they've sort of realized is that the traditional audience of their uh, products has been quite old and then know that a lot of people who are young are actually sort of playing games. So Torsten will really explain how we can try and merge those two things together. Thank you. Uh, hello, everybody. This, my name is Torsten. I'm uh, the CEO of zone to connect and uh, we concentrate on taking concepts from the games industry into communication, um, let's say so-called gamification and serious gaming. And uh, we, uh, I want to present to you a project we did together with Daimler, we're still doing so, um, where Daimler uses uh, Facebook as a communication channel to, to discuss and, and, and get information from the younger target group than uh, they have actually right now. So this is uh, about Greenside City. Um, what I want to explain is uh, zone to connect we combine these concepts um, and what's very important is that uh, we have a multidisciplined team where we look at what kind of uh, what of kind of uh, um, information we have to transport through a game and uh, so we have didactical experts also education experts and of course game designers um, and the very very important issue if you're doing you use games as a communication thing uh, you have to think about com uh, you have to think about of concepts of communication concepts so uh, these are the skills we need for that and um, we're working for a lot of let's say huge customers for the, in the German market we're a German based company such as Adidas, for example, Bayer or Daimler, Lufthansa or also Vodafone and they use this gaming technologies for different uh, reasons, for training people, for communication and uh, things like this. Um, yeah, why does Daimler think about using games to communicate? Um, this is uh, something very special because this game is not an ad game as normal uh, ad games work. This is a real tool which uh, Daimler uses to communicate with their target group. Um, and so uh, it, it, is, it is interesting to understand why Daimler does something like this. At Daimler, there is a department which is called Business Innovation, and they think about what can we do with a new media, with uh, innovative uh, concepts, in order to help us uh, to make the people understand and how to use the products Daimler uh, use, uh, produce. Um, and these are cars, and, and, and what you see in the middle of the screen is uh, there are different cars, but uh, types of cars. And uh, Daimler thinks of how to use to, to bring that information to the target group. For example, uh, and also combine it with new concepts like car sharing. Car to go is maybe something you know from Hamburg and Berlin and other uh, uh, countries and, and cities. It's uh, invented now in, in, this, in the USA and in Germany and in uh, Vienna, for example. Also, car to go is available. And car to go is a, is a subsidiary of Daimler. Not everybody knows that. And also, Movil, for example, or My Taxi, which is a very popular app, is also financed throughout uh, this business innovation team. So um, what they think of is how to communicate with this target group, with this younger target group. The average uh, customer of Daimler is older than the, the gamer it is. So uh, they think of, uh, let's say, uh, a channel of uh, how to play with these people. Um, while they play the games, they understand the concepts of Daimler. And this is what they call play together. And uh, this is also for, to understand how the target group works to just as a response channel in order to bring this uh, concepts of car sharing, electromobility and stuff like this uh, to the target group. So um, what we thought of is uh, creating a uh, Facebook game because uh, the target group which uh, we want to address is uh, people who are interested in innovation, for example, living in big cities, um, living uh, at, a, in a, at a place where a car is a problem more or less because you need a parking space for that. So um, we address people uh, who live in big cities. They are more or less the so-called digital natives. Um, and they're age 25 to 40. And yeah, they're of course gamers because we, we did a game here. Uh, and if you look at these figures, uh, you come to the idea, hey, Facebook might be a good idea because we have more or less uh, uh, 955 million mem members at Facebook. This is the number we have actually right now. And the average age at Facebook is 29, what, what we have as a study in the background. So um, more than 50% of these people are, people are playing games. So if you, if you combine this target group of Facebook, I think it's a good idea to think about uh, using using uh, a game at Facebook uh, to communicate uh, these new concepts like car sharing and stuff. 
Um, so we formed together uh, with Daimler, or they formed, uh, play together as a channel. This is a communication channel. It's entertainment in the end. It's not uh, that serious as it might look like in the first uh, but uh, it uh, is a cross-communication channel because you can combine different products, you can, uh, you can uh, communicate through uh, different platforms um, like uh, Car2Go or whatever. And uh, yeah, it's of course something with what uh, works with, with teamwork, with collaboration, which is also um, a very good thing. So everybody could help each other creating this, this, uh, this in this, this city. Um, Greenside City itself is a city building game, it's uh, more or less like Cityville, but it has some important tweaks um, because it is technology driven. We have uh, some kind of a research center inside the game where you have to, to uh, research on urban mobility concepts like car sharing, like electromobility. Uh, and um, this is a very important fact on uh, Greenside City because uh, the city uh, works only if there is a, uh, let's say, vital um, transport system in the city. If you you do not take care on this, the city will not develop. It's a game tw uh, tweak at this point. And also sustainability is very important. Also for Daimler, it's a very important thing. So um, the sustainability means that the, that the, uh, the city is in an ecological uh, um, um, that's there, that you have to take care of ecology and of course with car sharing and, stuff and a concept like this you can, you can reduce pollution and this is very important in this game. So you have uh, on, the other, on the one hand you have the city building component, on the other hand you have to take care of uh, urban mobility concepts in order to, to make this uh, uh, um, um, an eco ecological uh, healthy place this green side city. This is the game itself uh, is an isometric uh, city building game. Uh, we implemented also some buildings which are typical for Daimler. You see in this, uh, in this lower region, uh, you see the Mercedes-Benz Arena, which is more or less situated in Stuttgart. It doesn't look one to one, one by one like this in Stuttgart. And also uh, you have the Mercedes-Benz Museum, but it's not, uh, let's say, such a huge branding inside the game. You will not find the Mercedes-Benz logo at all beside in these buildings. There's no brandings and stuff like this. But what you can see is uh, they're, for example, driving uh, these small smart cars around, like you know them from, uh, from car to go here also in Hamburg. So um, what we invented is this um, research innovation center. Uh, we call it uh, the innovation plant. And this is um, something which symbolizes the business innovation department at Daimler. So they are seeking, they are researching different concepts on, um, on urban mobility. And you have the, you, you as a player decide what kind of uh, mobility concept you want to you want to uh, increase and and you have different options and in the end of course it uh, it's uh, the sense is that you have more options to make this a clearer place a more ecological uh, place than uh, if not using this mobility concept um, we have different kinds of uh, urban mobility concept inside the game which has to be used but they're not let's say uh, the thing with the uh, they're not uh, let's say some kind of a learning game but you have to implement them to make this game work and this is uh, car sharing this is uh, electro mobility electro buses e-bikes for example which were in, which are now getting more and more into the market and also uh, clean energy driven uh, trains and so you have to uh, you have to um, put some kind of a web onto the city um, because all these uh, um, urban mobility concepts have some kind of a range and you have to ensure that the whole uh, cityscape um, is, um, has some kind of urban mobility concepts inside to reduce the pollution in the city. So you see this, if I, yeah, you see this um, with these um, circles around the car sharing station, for example. So, um, yeah, the game itself, of course, is a um, classical uh, city building game which, uh, with, with a huge uh, landscape. You can generate real big cities and uh, a specialty maybe is uh, a traffic simulation. We have lots of traffic simulation in, uh, in, a, in a way of um, um, if you create a city with, which has uh, not too much uh, urban mobility concepts uh, included, like uh, car sharing, uh, you, have, um, you have also traffic jams and stuff like this. Uh, so you have to take care on the first hand on the architecture of the streets and secondly uh, that the urban mobility concepts are in included and also the pollution in the city is low that you can you can um, influence this by uh, putting uh, trees and stuff into this uh, city and also by using this urban mobility concepts to re reduce the traffic inside uh, Greenside city so um, 
Yeah, the city, the game itself is a classical Facebook game. You have to, uh, you have some kind of moves uh, in every uh, round, and uh, by while playing, it, this, the, um, the the moves uh, get added for, by one. And uh, also, you, yeah, there's also a commercial aspect inside. So item selling is also possible. You can uh, also uh, increase uh, your your gameplay by uh, set by using money. That's also a speciality because it's uh, more or less a, a, a Daimler-driven game. But also, we have the, the possibility. To, to increase this by, by spending money. So um, I want to show you a movie which shows some impressions of the game and it, maybe it also points out some specialities about it. The movie's a little bit slow. <laughs> So this is the innovation plant. And uh, yeah, the gameplay is quite normal, but there are a lot of information about uh, how, how uh, the ecological weight of this building, for example, could be increased. Uh, or, yeah. Every building has different stages. Um, you can decorate your city. And the basic idea is to get is to get tourists into the city. They have um, different attractions they can use. Um, if they're satisfied with all of this, they stay. Um, um, and uh, after a while, they will leave the city. So uh, this is a concept screen from the creation of the concept. And uh, yeah, the the, uh, the mission is to to keep these people staying in the city, um, and also and they will only stay if the city is attractive. And uh, yeah, that's. Uh, the end of the movie. It's a lot, normally it's a little bit longer, but maybe there's a memory problem here. Um, yeah. Um, so um, you have to, to bring people into the city and they have to stay and they only stay if the city is in a wealthy, uh, ecological uh, worthy situation. So uh, that's the basic idea um, of the game. The game was launched in the beginning of August. Um, one special thing about it is that we also launched the game inside the Daimler social network, which is quite huge. You can expect uh, a car manufacturer has some million of users uh, onto their different country websites. So the game will be now uh, launched in the different countries. We launched it uh, in December in uh, Argentina, and now we are launching it in different other countries throughout the year. So the game will be part of the Facebook community of Daimler also, and uh, in, yeah, let's say um, engages also the Daimler Facebook community. Um, some reports, uh, we, we got some press reports, uh, yeah, Daimler simulates the future of e-mobility, e uh, Daimler enables it, its young audience with a simulation game to think green cities. The basic idea I want to get, uh, get uh, uh, want to uh, explain to you is that a company like Daimler uses a game uh, for uh, communication reasons, um, not only to have it as an ad game, just also to uh, communicate with the target group because there's a lot of communication around. And also we combine, we uh, have we in invented some uh, some tools where the users can communicate with each other. So you can send postcards out of Greenside City to each uh, to, to, to users and stuff like this. So that's the basic idea of Greenside City. Maybe you want to discuss with me a little bit about the approach that the cust that a company itself runs such a game. Um, you're welcome. If you have any questions, it would be great. Hello. Um, do you have any numbers uh, apart from the internal use at Daimler, at your client that you already mentioned for um, the Facebook users? So talking to users or people that didn't know anything about the communication goals of your client before, w would you say that's been a success? Or did, did you all only target this internal use and, and use the, the Facebook channel as an optional part or optional plus? Um, there are no numbers uh, right now published by Daimler. It's a job of Daimler to do so, uh, but the, um, the, the concept itself is uh, well recognized in the media and also from the user side and uh, it, it looks promiseful. We have started in August, but, all, but the only thing we can say is it looks very promiseful as a tool for Daimler also to communicate with the audience, which is a huge target in this project. Okay. Yeah, then thank you for uh, 
having me here today and uh, a nice casual connect. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Torsen. Uh,